you can really find through the assessment process strengths and weaknesses. I mean, you're coming out of this evaluation and you're you're spending you know four hours doing an evaluation with a student and you're able to you know this student might think that they're not good at anything and and through that evaluation you're always going to find what they're good at with students coming back after the pandemic what are the increased needs of students that you've seen from your professional standpoint well yeah this year i have well during the pandemic i work with several students who are just feeling socially isolated uh, disconnected. Um, they may have had previous problems with depression or anxiety, but it, it created more of an issue with these students. And um, and I spent my time sometimes meeting with them at school <laughs> um, and, and doing things that, you know, we as school psychologists can individually work with students. And, um, and I feel like social isolation has been maybe the biggest issue, like being disconnected. They were on their phones, they were on this, and then now they're coming back into this large system and they're feeling anxious, just as I was going to my first meeting. Like, oh my gosh, like all the stimulation, they're just overly stimulated at this point. You just used a very specific word and the word was anxiety. Are students today more anxious than they were in the past or has that anxiety always existed among students for various reasons? and only now are we wise enough to address it? It's always existed. Anxiety has always existed. Um, but right now we as staff and, and, know how to, and, and families know how to support anxiety um, and in ways where we, I think, didn't before. Um, it's definitely been around for, for a while. Um, and you know, we are addressing it in schools um, on a daily basis with students um, in providing support. What's the most rewarding part of your job? As a school psychologist, I'm able to individually work with students um, and to really get to know them. Um, they could be struggling academically, emotionally, and I'm able to work through assessment, through observation, and really get to know the student as to why they're experiencing difficulties. And then coming up with the support um, I've been here 25 years, um, and I'm able to really kind of see maybe, okay, once we come to the end of the evaluation, what kind of support does a student need? Where, where are the pieces that he, this, this student needs? And after being in the district and at, at Romeville High School this many years, I know what, where I, the resources are and what can provide and remove some barriers for students.